My name is Dan Daly. I'm a framer, and I work for Daly Construction Company. I, uh, yeah, I've owned the company about 30 years, coming up, yeah, 29th year. So as a teenager, oftentimes it was actually assigned to the youngest person who had the least amount of uh, wherewithal to refuse a, a dangerous order. And uh, as a kid, I did some really dangerous, stupid stuff, but I survived. And then as I became older, when I was in my early 20s, I started actually defying foremen and telling them, you know, not very politely to go. And I'm like, yeah, you walk that wall, you know, you get up there and, you know, it's like right after you, buddy. And uh, most of the time, those guys were not interested in doing the dangerous thing. They were interested in having someone else do it. And um, so as I progressed and opened up a company, I didn't want people to do things that weren't safe. And uh, I certainly didn't believe in the safety gear when I first opened my business because it didn't even exist. Uh, but over time, I had, um, I had a competitor that called OSHA on me for, every, I think, every job for like three years. And I was faced with going out of business or converting. And I converted to actually believing in safety gear. I, um, I was falling one time and the safety gear went from being a nuisance that I did grudgingly to avoid OSHA fines to actually something that kept me from going off the roof. And in that come to Jesus moment, you know, when I'm looking down and I see all the rebar sticking up from the masonry and there's no caps on it, I realize that, hey, you know, the safety gear is actually not a bad thing. You know, nobody should get hurt to make a buck. It's not a prerequisite. There was a time before all the safety stuff was invented where it was a cost of doing business. Uh, but that's not the case anymore. You know, we framed over a million square feet. You know, I've had employees work for me, some of them 20 years, and I've never had a serious disabling injury with workman's comp. You know, it's evident with what we do that we try. We're not perfect, but, you know, we're pretty good. And at the end of the day, just the record speaks for itself. You know, I have low employee turnover because I don't hurt people. You know, none of my guys fall off the roof. None of my guys, you know, it just doesn't happen. And my employees are my friends, you know. I don't want anyone hurt. That's the bottom line.